What's up you guys, it's Jose Zaniga from Teach Men's Fashion and for today, all we're going to be talking about is athletic gym wear. I'm going to show you guys what you need for when you go to the gym. So I was reevaluating my closet the other day and I looked at my gym wear section, which is basically just a drawer, and it was almost sad. Like it was nowhere near the level of my stylish closet or my going out clothes. It was just not thought out properly. So I actually went shopping, I bought a bunch of things, I made a list of things that I needed, things that I needed to improve on, and because of that, I'm bringing to you guys a whole video on things that I think you need at the gym. These are things that are gonna make you more comfortable at the gym, which hopefully is gonna help you produce better results, and also just make you look better, more athletic, accentuate your body better. So when you step into the gym, you look great. So let's get into it. The first thing you're gonna need, good pair of shirts. So shirts are obviously one of the first things you're gonna need and what you see me wear right here are something that I'm absolutely in love with lately. So I found these shirts, let me get this example. So I found these shirts at Uniqlo and they're like this performance elastic fabric. But the first tip that I'm gonna give you with shorts, shirts is that. Don't go for cotton shirts or especially like those Nike Just Do It cotton shirts. They're expensive, they shrink, and on top of that when you're training, they get drenched. So it's the worst. You want to get a performance fabric shirt, something like this. And what I like about this is the stretchy material really contours your body and accentuates your muscles. The second thing, a good sports watch. Now you could go with something like a heart rate monitor or an Apple watch. If you already have that, then you're fine. But if you don't, those options are usually 100 plus. And for a sports watch that you're going to be beating around and training, you want something cheap, something that you're not going to be thinking about, and something that's going to help you perform. So in reality, all you'll really need in a sports watch, if you're not monitoring your heart rate, is some sort of stopwatch or chronograph, and maybe even an alarm if you have one, because that's going to help you time out workouts. So let's say you're going to go to the gym, you have 30 minutes. Boom, you're going to go in there, work as hard as you can. When that alarm goes off, you're out the gym. I also do a lot of time training, so I'm always looking at my times, trying to improve on them. So having a, wa a sports watch that's a beater, that's tough, and that has these features is great. This all black one is from Armitron, and it's great. It was around 30 bucks. It has all the features that I need. It has the chronograph, it has the alarm. So that's basically all I need for it. And I like that it's all rubber, and it has a big face. So it's nice, big, and legible and it's all rubber, so when I'm training and I'm drenched in sweat, I don't have to be worrying about my watch. It was only 30 bucks, and I know it's gonna endure. Now, me personally, I went with the all black model because this will facilitate it for me. That way I can wear it anytime I'm going to the gym with any type of clothing, I can just easily match this watch with any type of gear that I'm already wearing. So, it depends on to you. There's a lot of other color schemes, but I think the all black is probably the best way to go. Now, I'm gonna have this particular watch linked down below, and you guys can check it out. And like I said, they have a lot of other styles color coordinations you can check out and see what best suits your lifestyle and your taste number three versatile shorts now most guys here would go either Nike or Under Armour and just go for like regular basketball shorts me personally I'm a huge fan of Reebok I think they produce really great stuff when it comes to training and what I picked up are these speed wick shorts. Now these shorts are freaking amazing when it comes to that whole wicking away moisture. Also, they're really good, reasonably priced at around $30, I think. And then on top of that, I really like the cut on, on them. It's pretty high, so it gives you really good mobility. They're not skin tight, so again, it adds to that mobility when you're doing any type of training. The fourth one, joggers. Now I've been slowly inching and kind of just falling in love with tailored sweatpants lately. In the right scenario, of course, because they just look great. They make you look stylish and they're functional. You know, the colder months are coming. You're not going to be going to the gym in shorts. You're going to be freezing. So picking up yourself some tailored sweatpants are probably the best way to go. I freaking love them for that. And on top of that, you got the added benefit that if you want to go into that whole athleisure trend, which I talked all about that already, these are a great option to do that. So you can wear them outside the gym, like I said, in the right scenario. So casual chores, if you're going to the supermarket, something like that, that's very casual, you could definitely just throw on a pair of joggers or tailored sweatpants and you're gonna look pretty cool. So these sweatpants that you see right now, uh, the green one is from Reebok that I have, the black ones are from Umoro, which I talked about, and then the blue ones that you see are from Boohoo Man. And finally, we have compression clothing, in particular compression pants. So this one, I'm gonna call it the bonus. I've been using this for about one to two weeks now, because I just wanted to give it a try, see what 
my personal thoughts are. And really to tell you, I think they make you look cool. They make you look more athletic. And I think that kind of gives you a placebo effect and makes you train better. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because there's a lot of claims out there that compression clothing helps you perform better. Even athletes like Dwayne Wade or Robert Griffin claim that, you know, compression clothing either helps them avoid injuries or makes them faster and all this stuff. So I was kind of curious myself. So I picked up some compression pants. And like I said, I really can't tell you if it helps me perform better. What I can tell you is that it makes me feel better. I like how they look. I feel more athletic and therefore I think it's like a placebo effect and you might train better. You might push yourself harder. So is that a bonus? I would say maybe yeah. So if you've been curious of compression clothing, go ahead and give them a shot. Honestly, I personally love them and I think I'm gonna be picking up some more. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, remember to hit up that like up button down below, helps me out. Don't forget to check out, I'm gonna have a link below what I can from what I talked about. Great stuff, guys, especially if you're going to the gym lately, you wanna look your A game. And like I said, if you have the right clothing, chances are you'll feel better and you might perform better.